What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. All right, welcome to Allow Me to Be Frank. Of course, uh, there's no talk of dragons on this show. Uh, that show, uh, I mean, I'll get to that in a second, but Mets are on the wild card, and some people are happy with that, and we love watching that wild card banner where we wear wild card shirts. But we got uh, Mets in the wild card against the Padres, who just kill me. They just always freaking kill me. I mean, the Mets, I mean, you Darvish just has to throw his glove on the mound, and the Mets just can't hit him. Then you got Blake Snell and Joe Musgrove. I mean, and meanwhile, Max Scherzer hasn't been the same since his oblique. Jacob deGrom is already uh, looking for houses in Atlanta, and uh, Chris Bassett, well, he shit the bed. So now the Mets got to rely on their hitting, which is probably not a good thing. Starling Marte, uh, he's going to need hand replacement surgery probably at this point. And James McCant will still be in the lineup with Tyler Nyquan. I mean, Tyler Nyquan just, fu- he fucking sucks. He's not There's good. No Chris Bassett him. didn't shit the bed, though. You're wrong about that. Bassett's had area. Bassett had area under three since the All-Star break, and he's eight and two. Since I'm that. talking about Sunday night. One game, I mean, one game, but. That was a absolute pathetic performance at the worst time possible. Yeah, by the whole team. I agree with that. Uh, here's some stats that you could chew on. The uh, Mets and Braves both finished with 101 wins, 101 and 61. The Braves won 10 games against the Mets. The Mets won nine. But the... Uh, the Braves had the extra game at home. Nine were played at City Field, ten were played in Atlanta. The Mets went three and six in Atlanta. The, the, Bra- the Mets went six and three at City Field. The Braves went seven and three in Atlanta. That extra game, that extra home game was a difference. You're absolutely right. That's a great stat, Frank. You're you're absolutely right. That this is why I hate the schedule. Uh, they are making changes to the schedule for next year. But this year's schedule is bullshit. And you're exactly right. That 10-9, it was so close between those teams. And the Mets played so much better at City Field against them. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, Atlanta's always been a house of horrors for the Mets. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's totally ridiculous. And... Uh, it, I think one mistake they made was maybe Bassett should have went Friday night. Yeah. And they shouldn't have made, uh, changed the rotation up. I agree. And I, I don't know what's wrong with DeGrom. I'm, I'm, I'm glad right now they're going with Scherzer in game one. Me too. Because right now DeGrom does not look right. No, DeGrom's last four starts, he's given up three or more runs every start. He's given up a home run every start his last four starts. Uh, he's striking out a ton of guys. But he's given up some big hits. Uh, Scherzer is uh, much more dominant. I'm hearing uh, talk that it, it, it could be a uh, Bassett game, too, too. Well, that's what I hope happens. Because assuming the Mets win game one, big assumption. But if they win game one, they Against have to Darvish? pitch Bassett game two. Against Darvish? Well, let's say they win game one. They have to pitch Bassett game two, I think. Because you'd want to save DeGrom for the Dodgers series. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if they lose, are you going to any? Are you going to any of the streams this week? I I know I'm not. I'm going to uh, the stream game one, right? And game two, I'm actually going to the game. I'll be at both streams. I'm going to the game in game two. We're gonna miss you at the stream on uh, on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, Well, I've never gone to a baseball major league playoff game. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I like the article that you wrote, Chris, on uh, the Barstool Sports uh, blog. For Thank not you. starting, yeah, for not starting to Grom, and I know you just uh, put in a bunch of stats that you put in your article as well. But um, yeah, I like it. A lot of people that read it, I was looking at the replies. People were like, "Oh no, 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 we need to start to Grom," and then there was a lot of people that were agreeing with you. So I just uh, 
want to hear Frank now, talk about that too. I'm in, I'm in an interesting spot this weekend. I know I'm going to the uh, the game, the wild card game, game two uh, Saturday. I have to find someone to bring with me, maybe to shoot the video. Hmm. I mean, I got a second ticket. If I wasn't doing the stream, I'd love to go with you, buddy. But yeah, hopefully they can have someone go with you to shoot because I think that's good. That's good content. Uh, this is the weekend, the worst weekend possible to have Mets. No, not Mets. Dolphins, Jets at the Meadowlands. Are you going to that game? I doubt it. I'm going to uh, the wild card game Saturday night. If somehow the Mets wrap up the series in two games or the Padres wrap it up in two games... Maybe I'll see how I feel uh, Sunday morning, see if I could get one on the game time app real fast and make my way out there. But other than that, it's going to be very hard to get to that game. Yeah. Uh, how far is that from you? Is that is Netherlands pretty far from where you live? <clears throat> Actually, it's not far at all. Oh, all right. It's not Maybe far at all. A, pull a double header. But if there's a game three, chances are I can't do it. Mm. If there's game three, there's uh, probably not going to be able to do it. Mm. But but if uh, if the Mets sweep, uh, uh, I might look to try to get to that game. It's going to be very tough. I uh, now I I don't drive on the highway and shit. Right. But uh, if. And Ubering is tough, but from my house, if, if I take the highway to Route 3 to the Meadowlands, it's uh, about 25 minutes. I really live near the Meadowlands. I live pretty close to the Meadowlands. Actually. How about if you don't take the highway and you go the Frank route? 40 minutes. Okay. Still not bad. No. Not bad. So if somehow uh, the Mets wrap it up, or got, or the Padres, probably the Padres, uh, after the Mets get shut out in both games with uh, the last at bat being Darren Ruff to end the season. Well, I, I'm just confused though, like uh, just because the Mets game is going to be at like 7:30 at night on Sunday. So why couldn't you pull a doubleheader? Not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. It's seven o'clock right now as a schedule, but it's subject to change. And I would have to know after game two. Right. I and mean, you would. Yeah. And, and, and with, the, with the game time app, I can make the decision Sunday morning. That's the best thing about it, of course. And that's the situation I am with that game. Okay. But. So, who, so um, how do you think the Mets are going to do in this series against the Padres? What's the Frank prediction here? Because all... All Barstool's been talking about the last week is Frank was right. Mets didn't get the division. You were even on the Dave Portnoy show. So what are you saying about the Padres series coming up? I don't feel good. No. I think the Padres Mets don't match up with the Padres. So we get, you gonna have you have a prediction for us here? How many games is the series? Padres and two. It's gonna Padres, be Padres. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna be Dar it's gonna be Darvish Schnell and the Mets yep. uh, a lot of people. I mean Starling Marte is still not back. That means we're going to be watching Tyler Nyquin taking uh, key at bats, Darren Ruff taking key at bats, and it's just killer. In the end, Billy Upper's failure at the trade deadline is what ended the season. And this is the guy that's going to be trying to sign all free agents and make deals at the end of trade. And I don't feel good. I don't. I, I don't trust him right now. I, really I will don't. say Blake Snell, you mentioned him, his ERA the last uh, I think month and a half is... I mean, he brought in Tyler... 213 or something. Quinn. Yeah. I mean, Jake... Oh, we're well, losing yeah. Frank. Frank, you're, and you're going to get an out. And the month in September. Frank, you're cutting Chris, you're out. a little fuzzy. Yeah, you get, you're going in and out. Oh, fucking <laughs> goddamn... This, Get the internet in this fucking place. It's always something. Are you under the bar stool employees? It's always you something. Under that? You're under that, right? Let me see. That's what I'm under. 
Hold on. Nope, I'm stuck on. <laughs> if he goes to employees, he'll be in better shape, I think. He just froze, yeah. I didn't know if I lost you because I can't see you either, but. Oh, oh Frank. Oh, Frank. Poor Frank. I, I, you know what? I want to take a picture of this because uh, it's cut out at the perfect time. All right, perfect. Are you surprised Frank's going with an 0-2? Uh, you think the Padres are 1-2? Are you shocked by that prediction? Am I surprised? There's a problem no, with the standard. Not at all. But, um, I mean, I, I kind of agree to a certain extent. The Padres are a scary team for the Mets. Four, they're, they lead the series 4-2 to two this year. Um, they took two at City Field. They took two at Petco Park. So, what do you do? Yeah, Darvish is five and zero lifetime against the Mets. I mean, some of those come from way back when. They don't. It's not really relevant. But he's been good against the Mets, obviously. And then uh, Snell has been very good of late, in general. So um, they have to work. The Padres bullpen sucks though. How, it's kind of a shit show. How has you Darvish been in the playoffs? Well, he had the, he had those games when the uh, Astros were cheating. Yeah. Um, and he no, got he knocked around. Really. So that's kind of fucked up his lifetime stats, but. Because when he came to the Cubs, I mean, he was, I mean, obviously nothing big happened there, but he was a mental midget. So I feel like in the playoffs, the guy maybe might turn in. Maybe that could play a factor too. I don't know. I think you got Frank back. Frank, are you back, buddy? Yeah, I think I am. I think you're better. It looks better now. I mean, you Darvish just always kills the Mets. Uh, I think think in the two games he played against the Mets, the Mets got a total of five hits. How about the Padres' um, bullpen, Frank? How do you feel? Because that's not great. Josh Hader's been better of late, but he, he's been up and down all year. Yeah, but are the Mets even going to get to the bullpen? They, they yeah, against the Braves, against the Braves, uh, like in, uh, what was the game? Against, against, game against Freed? Freed uh, threw four innings, had uh, 29 pitches. Well, I don't, think stopped doing, I, think, I think he had a bit they, more than that, but he. Uh, they, they, stopped, they stopped working counts two months ago. That's true. They have, they have. And uh, the only the, the only one that's been hitting good lately is uh, Jeff McNeil, who won the batting title. How do you feel about that? This just tells you how bad of hitting coach Hugh Quattlebaum was. And the uh, Hugh Quattlebaum and uh, Luis uh, the, the, the Rojas here. Basically, Terrible. they told Jeff McNeil that that uh, you have no future as a slash and dash hitter. The, the, the slash and dash hitters are not needed. So if you don't start trying to pull the ball, we're going to we're going to have to just hit you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they, they turned him to a 240 hitter last year. How many weak ground balls did he hit the second base last year or into the shift? Yeah. He went back to what he would he did, what made him good in 2021 with 2019, and he wins the batting title. And he didn't just lead to win the net did net batting title. He actually had the highest batting average in all of baseball, all of MLB. And the higher batting, the I think the, I think the three top hitters were all in National League this year. You seem to like five. you seem to like Jeff McNeil. I never hear you really shit on him too much in the office. I shit on him a lot last year. Oh, did you? Okay. What did you call him? Out? You have a nickname for him? Yeah, it was Jeff McFeeble. Yeah, Jeff McFeeble. <laughs> Well, it just shows you someone's not feeble forever, Frank, right? And unless you're James McCant. Right. Well, yeah. Right. Here's another stat for you. Francisco Alvarez has more multi-extra base hit games this season than James McCant. Uh, that's a wild stat. Sad but true. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's an actual stat, right, Frank? That's not, a, that's not a Frank stat? I saw someone tweet it out. Okay. It was so semi, a semi-Frank stat. Yeah. No, it someone tweeted it. No, it was actually like, like it, it was like a believable. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, did, 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 uh, did, because Alvarez had it in that one game, had a double and a homer. Now, you've been the talk of the office 
you know, I said the last week with, you know, Frank was right. And, and you've, you've been on the warpath more than I've ever seen you really. You've been really kind of defending yourself and, and, and you're tweeting again. Like you seem to be done with the bullshit. You, this, you know, you're, you're, you're out there, Frank. You're, well, you're, you're ready to go. But last, the last bet was that the Mets would do nothing at the deadline. And uh, that would that would have kept me quiet throughout the playoffs. Okay. And uh, I I said no, I'm pulling that one because Darren Ruff and Michael Gibbons were both so bad it was like it would have been, it was like they did nothing at the deadline. And then, I, I can't then, disagree. What? I think you're right. And then Clem. Going at me when he goes to, uh, when he's watching the stupid, uh, the, the House of Dragons. Right. I mean, he says he's able to watch both. There is no way you could be watching House of Dragons and baseball at the same time. No. I mean, you blink in, on House of Dragons, and the next thing you know, it's 20 years later. Right. <laughs> well, it's not that bad, Frank. It's a good it's show. You, you don't have to bash it. It's not bad. I like it's it. It's not bad. <laughs> you have to pay attention to it for sure. Like you miss a second. Uh, there's a line on the show. The king is never going to be old. He is doomed to die a young man. And then the next episode, he has another finger falling off. His back is like all marred up. He's 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 like literally he's literally literally turning into the crypt keeper. And then the next episode, he's even more decrepit looking. And it's 20 years later. He's 87 years old. The king is not going to live any long. He's going to die a young man. There's another baby being born. The next episode, the baby is uh, is turning into Jeffy Dahmer. Now, Frank, so, so you watched it. Okay. I was say, you, you know a lot about the show for someone that doesn't I watched like the first five episodes or so. There's <laughs> six <What>? episodes. <laughs> There's literally six episodes out right now. Well, I'm trying it. I'm trying it. Good but, for you. But, uh, the, and here's the key thing is, they show it like, they show it like five times at night. Yeah. So, it's, 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 it's just, so you can wait till after the Met game and watch it. How do you but, think the stream is going to go on Friday? You're going to be there, Clem, KFC. It's going to be an interesting stream. Are, are you going to, do you think that there's going to be some chirping back and forth? Like, how's that going to go? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if if if, uh, if the Mets are uh, being no hit through seven innings, they're going to have to admit that I was right. But you don't want that to happen, though, Frank. Right. Like, what if, what if they're winning? Everybody's, it's going to be good, right? Everyone's going to be cheering. Nobody's going to be, I don't want nobody, you know, if they're up, they should not be able to stop you from cheering. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's going to be a will. very interesting thing. Yeah, and they will. So they, you just got to fight back. Remember whose cave it is. <laughs> you go to more cave uh, streams than them. Yep. So. So your prediction is 2-0 for the Padres. Yep. I just think that I think the, the I think the Padres are a bad. I actually think that the Dodgers are a better matchup for the, uh, the, for the Mets and the Padres. Hmm. The Padres are just a pain in the ass. And the Dodgers are. are one of the greatest teams of all time, though. I mean, they, they have 111 wins. They're about as dominant as they've ever seen a team, at least since 98. Yeah, well, the Mets played better against the Dodgers than they did against the Padres in the season. What happened to our uh, What happened to our screen? <sighs> I'm seeing. I'm fine. I see everybody. How the fuck did this happen? <laughs> I didn't even wait. Talk anything. This is what great. What the fuck is this? Let's just record like this because this is a lot. This is pretty fun. I, I do this, not mind this at all. This looks normal to me. I don't know. What, I mean, is that, what are you guys saying? Oh my! I'll send you a picture, Clemmer. Hold on. Frank, we can keep like this. Is actually, pretty cool. And now we're in a classroom? Did somebody? 
I mean, did I, I do know something? How the fuck this happened? Did I change? I, I didn't even hit anything. I don't think so. I did, um, move, but I don't have that power, I don't think. Because uh, Mike's Mikey's uh, screen froze, so I but I didn't put a classroom or anything. Oh, just... my phone just died. But oh, hang on a second. Watch this. Is it gone oh, now? I... Back to normal. That was me. My fault. Dude, so, that was... Uh... That was something. It's always fucking something. <laughs> no, that was me. Mikey's That's screen it. keeps freezing whenever we do these, so I have to go in there and like kind of reset it every time. Um, oh, it's freezing. But I think it's not. I think it's it has. It's not you. It's me because it doesn't do it for Frank. So oh. it's on my end. Well, now I can't see Frank. Of course not. That's all right. I can hear you guys, so we're fine. <laughs> it's, it's 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 always fucking something. It's always something. It's always something. But but yeah, I just I just don't have a good feeling for this series. It it it, it doesn't feel like it's going to be good for the match. It's, it's just the nightmares never fucking end. Uh, what about the? I don't know the guy's name on the fan. Uh, Sale something. He blocked you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Salakati. He's a coward. He's a coward. And then his response: somebody called in was defending you. Uh, shout out that guy. He was like. Uh, he was like, well, are you going to give him any credit? Are you going to give Frank any credit? The guy, the guy was right. He said, you said everything that you basically said, like the, you predicted the 10 game losing uh, streak, all that stuff. So, um, and his response was just like, yeah, I block anybody. I love Twitter. I love blocking people on Twitter. It's my favorite thing, which is like the dumbest thing you can say on Twitter. Do you guys block people or no? Very rarely. I, yeah, uh, I don't really block anybody. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I stay away from the block button. It's uh, I think it's a coward move. So, what do you feel? How do you feel about uh, Sale though? He sucks. Okay. He genuinely sucks. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's never been good. He's never. And that's why he's doing a, sh- a radio show on Terrestrial Radio at like uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Actually, no, two o'clock in the morning. It's even worse. I mean, yeah, uh, the, there's nobody watching him or listening to him. I mean, he's. I mean, two o'clock in the morning. Uh, the, the only people listening to him are crickets. <laughs> and then he's out there saying that the, the race is over. And then uh, there's a picture of him with his dog, and he's wearing a brave shirt. So. We now know the truth about him. He did this on fucking purpose. He mushed the Mets, and he's happy that he mushed the Mets. Is the pain and suffering and misery never end when you're a Mets fan? It never ends. Now, if the Mets beat the Dodge, uh, Padres, which I think I think the Mets will beat the Padres. Um, okay. How, what were you... Will you admit you're wrong? I mean, how do you feel about that, Frank? Uh, well, I don't think I'm wrong, but I just don't think they're going to beat the Padres. I think the okay. Padres are just the, the worst possible matchup for the Mets. Now, you do say something that I, I do agree with to some extent. You're like, hey, if the Mets lose to the Padres and the Dodgers, we're going to be staring at a wild card banner um, at City Field, uh, which I hate the wild, I hate that they do that. They have a you know, banner just for making a wild card. It seems pretty, pretty lame to me. Yeah. Um, and I'm worried that could happen now because I said facing the Dodgers is terrifying. So um, I certainly don't like that matchup. It really is. It, it really isn't good. It's just it, it's just very, very disappointing. They had their chances and they just blew it. They I, they really freaking blew it. And that's what frustrates the fuck out of me. It was just one more win, and then they would be uh, preparing for. Uh, there be the division series. I could go to uh, I could go to Mets Dolphins this week. I could relax this weekend, but no, I can't. Now I can't. It it it, it, it just fucking sucks. And I just have a bad feeling that bad, it's just gonna be a shitty weekend. What if you went to Mets Dolphins at one o'clock and I mean Jets Dolphins at one o'clock and the Mets are playing at night? Why don't you just you could do both. That could happen. That's just very tough. It's very tough to try to do both. Okay. 
especially since I'm gonna uh, since it'll probably be a stream for game. Uh, right. Right. It just it's just so fucking frustrating. Mm. Okay. Are you um, now you you've had a rough stretch here because right before the Braves Met series, your quarterback goes down. We haven't talked about that yet. Yeah, now I have to watch uh, the Teddy Bridgewater, and he sucks. Teddy Two Gloves is not a bad quarterback. He's a good He's backup. Hard. He's a good backup. He's a really good backup, for sure. Now we'll see how he can do against the Jets. And he's not the only injury the Dolphins have, too. Um, Xavier Howard, he's kind of uh, banged up. Uh, Jalen Waddle banged up. A lot of people are banged up right now, and it's not good. It's too damn early in the season to have this many players banged up. I mean, it's very frustrating. And you hope you hope they can get your injuries out of the way now before you know the postseason starts. Hopefully, yeah, no, there is no postseason if you if the injuries continue. How long do you think until Tua comes back? I think four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. Wow. I think so the how Dolphins you, how, schedule is pretty decent, though. They're they're not really placed. Should be fine coasting with uh, Teddy. Did you uh, did you uh, hear that the concussion doctor urged him to retire? Oh, he got fired, I thought. No, no, the, concussion the, uh, doctor. the the guy, the doctor from the movie Concussion. Oh, if you love, if you love him, tell him to retire. But that guy was going to say that no matter what. I mean, I'm sure he's he's probably right, but he's going to. But that's. And then you have the, the other clown, the, uh, the 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 former wrestler, who uh, went before Congress. And uh, what was named uh, Chris Nowitzki. The only solution is for America to ban football and wrestling. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to happen, buddy. Sorry. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, not anytime soon. For those, politi- you got these politicians who are just uh, uh, drunk with power. I mean, uh, you're telling me if, if uh, when AOC becomes president in a few years, she won't be the one who does that? No, I, I I don't think so, Frank. So sign that. So I have that pen and so sign it. And I love you and clap around her. Yep. Nancy Pelosi going like this. She's going, ah, hey, with her giant gavel. Ah, oh, the whole time. Ah, and she remains Speaker of the House forever. Hey, 100 years from now, Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, you see her with the, uh, the IV attached to her. And you know why she has the IV attached to her? She's, she's got like a. Uh, like five minutes, like uh, uh, she gets blood transfusions every day from like uh, from children that keeps her alive. The undead, like in uh, like the South Park episode where they're doing stem cell research and just eating the babies. That's basically what she does. She just eats babies to uh, to stay alive. So shout out yeah. Nancy Pelosi. And not to say well, that not to say that's the only party that sucks, but they both they both suck. But my God, there's some people that just suck more than others. Yeah, yeah. I think both parties suck. I don't think either party is eating babies. Just for just for the record. No, no, <laughs> probably not. Well, you you never know. You never know. Sure. Allegations, allegations, but yeah, as if we 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 have no proof right now. Well, uh, there's one thing that both parties agree on, and this is all you need to know. There's one thing that both Republicans and Democrats agree on in the Senate, and that is that congressmen and senators should be exempt from insider trading. Yes, that's... Yeah. I, 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 right. So one thing both Democrats and Republicans agree on. Right. Of course. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Harry over there. He got rich listening to our conversation. Throw him in jail! But I'm just a janitor. It's set up my family for the life. Jail! And then they... Like the uh, cigar with the dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The inside of Frank's brain has to be amazing. Because like the things, I don't know where the hell that came from, but that's top notch. I, I wish like my some... brain was working on, I wish my brain was working on Tuesday night at the dozen. Oh, Frank, we got to talk about that. J.J. Reddick? 
I knew the name was JJ. Reddick. I knew it was JJ. It just I had a, a severe toothache, and the only name that came to mind was Reddick. I get it. That's, that's an understandable mistake. I get it. I get it. I, I mean, I. I, I it, 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 it was JJ Hardy. Yeah. And the Mets question I missed was a tough one. I mean, 1988 NLCS, I don't remember it fondly. And when I think about pitchers winning out of the bullpen, I always think of Roger McDowell, not Randy Myers. Randy, Randy Myers, I don't got, got to save, not to win. Yeah. Well, wait, how did you guys do in the dozen? How, how did it finish off? Did you guys... Uh, uh, well, we, uh, well, this is coming out... Oh, never mind. No, no, you, you should be okay. This uh, dozen will come out tomorrow. Well, his episode will come out tomorrow, so or tonight. Okay. We take yeah, well, my days. episode already aired yesterday, so. Right. And I so, can't uh, talk yeah. about how I did, so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully, it was was that one in Philly? Yeah. Frank's was mine was. Mine was a long bus trip to Philly. All dealing with a severe toothache. And as you see. Oh, no. Is this the same tooth, Frank? What was that? Is this the same tooth? Well, I need, uh, I need some new teeth. Look at this. Ding, 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 ding. And all these teeth are missing. I have a lot of missing teeth. Are, you, are your teeth hurting you now? Uh, I got a stitch in my mouth. Other than that, I feel All fine. Right. All right. Have you thought about veneers? Veneers? Yeah. Have you thought about that at all? What's that? Those are like the the Joe Biden teeth, the ones that you got. They they put like the fake teeth in your mouth. They're kind of like dentures. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe down the road. Portnoy or Dave? He bought um uh shiz at the Rizat. He bought shiz at the Rizat veneers. Yeah, maybe, maybe down the road. So, I and, and what's funny is I had to find a new dentist because my other dentist was unavailable. Oh. So I had to go to a new dentist. Not that I really have a dentist. I mean, the other dentist was great though. He has laser dentistry. I might try to go back to him. I think we lost Mikey again, or we still lost his visual. Can you see him? He's frozen. Yeah. Frozen window screens. Nothing. There he is. Uh, so, Frank, who do you like this week here? Jets, Dolphins. What, what do we got here? My Jets, three point underdogs. What do you think? This is the game that's going to show if the Dolphins have a pulse. I mean, if they can't beat the Jets, then it's going to be a long season until Tua comes back. I mean, but they should still find a way to beat the Jets. I mean, the Jets are 2-2. Two and two. They got a lucky win against the Browns because the Browns choked. And the Browns are the Browns. And uh, they beat a bad team in Pittsburgh. I think the Steelers, I, I, I've seen enough of the Steelers. I'm convinced they suck. The Steelers suck. They're not yeah. good. And, uh, it, um, and I and I think I think a lot of people knew the Steelers were going to be bad this year. They they don't have and TJ uh, TJ Watts not playing. I think a lot of people knew the Steelers were going to be bad this year. I think the Steelers themselves kind of knew they were going to be bad this year. This is like a year where it's it's, it's like okay, we're going to take our lumps and hopefully we can bounce back next year. I think that's the type of year they are now in Pittsburgh. Uh, and they now put Kenny Pickett out there. And it's now going to be uh, trial by fire. Uh, Mitch Trubisky just, he, he just sucks. I mean, he is immobile and he doesn't have an arm. Too bad. Too bad combination if you're a quarterback. Yeah, he's, he's got to go. He, I mean, the Statue of Liberty has more mobility than uh, Mitch Trubisky. And he was brought in to be a mobile quarterback. That's the thing. Yeah, he, 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 he stomps around like Frankenstein. And then just the checkdowns. He every single deep ball he throws is so inaccurate. It's nasty. Yeah. He he. he you wonder why the Bears are a fucked up franchise? 
They traded up to get Mitch Trubisky, who was terrible. They could he have played stayed where they're at. Twelve games. They were. They could have stayed where they were at. Just, just think about this. If somebody had a fucking brain in their head, they could have even said. They could have stayed where they're at. Maybe even traded down. And said, "Got Patrick Mahomes." Frank, I don't want to talk about this, please. Because you can also think we could have got Deshaun Watson, too. I know Deshaun Watson with his stuff, but... It, it, damn it, dude. I, I, look at, I look at the Bears. The, the Bears really feel like a team that's run by mom and pop kettle. It is. I told you, every single department is owned by... Or is the head of the departments in each category is a McCaskey. It's a Ma and Pa shot yeah, still. I, I know George Hallis Jr. died young. Died before his father. Where yeah. the hell is this at? Where are these guys at? Do you have any kids? Why well, are they Virginia. Going? What? Virginia is the Virginia is Hallis's daughter. Yeah, but what about uh, the Hallis's son? Does he have any grandkids? Um, I don't know. This is some House I'm, of Dragon stuff, Frank. I can't. Answer. By the way, you got a you got a shine on your camera. That looks like a. It looks like it's impaling you. Maybe it's I know, the Hallis's like going right through my body. It's the Hallis's uh, paying. You know, they want to honor my. Cutting me right here. Or they uh, I mean, it's it, 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 right still there. The glare is like like from here. There it is. There we go. No, it's oh no! There. <laughs> it's right over girl. here. Dead. All right. I guess this is why it was good to be under the bridge. That's what that's what I'm saying. It's I gotta like do this the whole time. You know, dude, today is the first day we had sun all day in New York in like oh. five days. I mean, well, I, I saw the least. sun this morning and I was like, "What's this strange herb?" <laughs> <laughs> I got so the Bears are in Minnesota this week, seven and a half point underdogs. I, I don't like Skull the Bears chances. Vikings win by 10 points. Skull Vikings. Bears have no shot. It's going to be a touchdown. It's going to be a blowout. Vikings. Vikings. Vikings by three touchdowns. No. No. The, bull, the Bears are going to win this game. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't. Really Here's, the only way the Here's the only way they had to get a chance to win that game. Get oh. kickoff moved to 8 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right, Frank, 100%. If, if, we, if this was a primetime game, the Bears would have won by two touchdowns. But the fact that the Bears fucking stink, dude. They're so bad. They're I mean, so Kirk, Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins is, a reverse, is a reverse vampire. He can't play at night, but he shines in the day. Yeah. Anti-vampire. Makes him uh, this, this is, this, the, the Reed's camera, this, this sun glare is going to be hilarious. Yeah, I know. I feel like a... Uh, it looks like a seatbelt. Yeah, let's just call it a nitric seatbelt. <laughs> All right. I look like I'm in... I look like I'm riding in Tron right now. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think the, the, the Bears are going to get blown out, actually. Realistically, I think they're going to get blown out. So I did also want to mention both of you have terrible fantasy football teams. and My, my team's quite good. Um, I don't know if you two have any sort of changes you're going to make or anything like that. You guys both are awfully terrible starts. Yeah, I'm going to have to because I just got my back blown out by fucking Rochelle Ryan. And uh, yeah, that's not the best. Not I'm the just best. spinning my wheels of fantasy football. I... I haven't I haven't really tried to do fantasy football in like a long time and I'm just so bad at it. The last I time say I the group. really like I like got into fantasy football was like twenty fourteen. Yeah. That was when uh who was hot that year? Uh Oof. Matt Forte. <laughs> Maybe. Matt Maybe. Ryan was Matt. good back then. Now he's Matt now he's Matty Dumpster Fire. And speaking about that tonight, uh well people are gonna see the game before that. 
But right. yeah, keep in mind making this prediction at 3.15 on Thursday. The, yep. the Broncos wear orange. The Colts wear blue. It's no doubt that the loser is going to be glue. It uh, looks like Russell Wilson is washed. Matt Ryan is washed. So the quarterbacks are a washout, but no Jonathan Taylor. That's bad news uh, for the Colts. I see the Broncos winning that game. Broncos are favored by three, Frank. Who do you have in that game? I'm taking the Broncos. Me too. Uh, yeah, me too. Broncos look terrible this year, but like like Frank said, Matt Ryan looks cooked. And then on top I mean, of it, Taylor, so. I mean, uh, both the Colts and Broncos traded a lot of draft capital to get these quarterbacks, and they're, they're, I know they're immediately regretting it. 100%. Rough stuff. Um, Chris, do you want to parlay for tonight since it's uh, Thursday and you uh, need a parlay? I might actually go make my bets Friday because I guess because the stream. So I might not even I might not even make a bet on this game tonight. Huh. I might just uh, huh. make my bets on Friday instead. Huh. See. I see. Well, if I were to give you a parlay, it would be uh, Broncos money line. It would be um, Cortland Sutton over 60 yards. It would be Matt Ryan over 200 yards. And it would be Russell Wilson over 200 yards. If I were to give you a parlay. And what is that? Plus uh, plus 590. Oh, that's that's a a good bet. You know know what I'm going to do? I'm getting damn sick and tired of seeing the Broncos on primetime games. Their games have been brutal. So Nathaniel Hackett stinks. Nathaniel can't hack it. Yep. You hack know, uh, well. you know, you know, son, if the if the Mets don't uh, win the series in two games, or the Padres uh, don't win the series in two games, it's going to be quite a day for uh, Clem on Sunday. Because he has to wake up at nine o'clock to watch the uh, Giants get their asses kicked by the Packers. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, oh, Mikey's frozen again. Well, Clem's got kids. I'm sure he's up by nine o'clock anyway on Sundays. I'm assuming. But yeah, the uh, the uh, Packers and the uh, Giants are in London. You notice the first time the Packers have been to London, and the Giants have uh, are down to Davis Webb as a quarterback. That is not a good. Uh, Davis Webb couldn't beat anybody. Let alone That's rough stuff. So, so is Daniel Jones officially out for that game? I believe so. Okay. I believe so. Uh, Tyrod Taylor's in concussion protocol, so I don't even think he's going on the trip. Sure. They signed a quarterback, too. That's it. Packers favored by eight right now. Yeah. Take the eight. Take the eight. Let's go. I oh, just, Mikey, Mikey's gone. Mikey left. <sighs> it wouldn't be an episode of Allow Me to Be Frank without a fucking goddamn motherfucking the uh, hundred fucking goddamn interceptions. Interruptions, I should say. There's always tech problems. There's always tech problems. It should be uh, Allow Me to Be Frank uh, versus tech technical issues, technical difficulties always. You've been on a little run uh, on the unit show with your with your NFL picks, Frank. You've been doing pretty well. Yeah, until the fucking Forty uh, ers killed the Rams on. Uh, I had that wrong Monday too. Nights. I mean, that was just a brutal performance by the Rams. Yeah, it was bad. Did you see uh, that guy that ran on the field is thinking about suing? I did, yeah. It seems like I, I can't imagine he'll do very well at his lawsuit. He, 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 yeah, he wants criminal charges pr- pressed. Yeah, good luck with that. You know, that happened uh, 40, 50 years ago. A guy named Mike Curtis of the uh, Colts slammed the guy down to the ground. Really? What happened? Yeah. They took the guy off the field, and uh, he became like a, a, a running joke. But, I mean, Bobby, Bobby Wagner did America a favor. I mean, it, it, it's laughable that the guy's trying to, uh, to sue because, you know, it, 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 he's actually already charged with trespassing going on the field. 
That's the thing, right? Exactly. I mean, you, if you if you go running on a field, a football field, you deserve to get just like your ass kicked. Oh, Mikey's back. This has been some episode. It's been a crazy episode. All right. All right, Mikey. Uh, I just picked the uh, Packers to beat the Giants. All right, what are we doing with our football picks next? Is you already do it, Mikey? You got it. All right, Frank, we got the uh, Falcons at the Buccaneers. Uh, the Buccaneers are favored by nine and a half. Take the Bucs. Uh, I mean, uh, everyone now knows that uh, Tom Brady is getting a divorce. Yep. So uh, I think uh, I think Brady has a good game. Falcons aren't very good. But he's, uh, the divorce seems to be affecting his play negatively. Why do you think this is going to affect his play positively? Well, he was holding it in. Now it's no secret. Now he can just oh, let okay. it out and let it fly. I don't okay. think he's going to have a great season overall, but the Falcons just don't match up with the Buccaneers. We talked about the Bears game already. You like the Vikings there at the seven and a half spread, right? Yep, taking the Vikings. Also, right, by the to... way, really quick, did you guys know that Frank went twelve and five last week on the show? Wow. Right, you're you're yep. on a roll, buddy. You had a huge week the week before that too. Yeah, he went twelve and five. I did. I counted the record yesterday and uh, wow, dominated, dominated. So Frank was right everywhere. Baseball, football. Sometimes uh, when when you're a guy that creates a sports encyclopedia and runs the page for twenty years, you might want to take advice from that guy because he knows what he's talking about. Pretty good, Frank. Yep, what other games we have? We have the uh, Lions are at the Patriots. The Pats are favored by three. Favored by three with the quarterback, Zeppi, Zappi, potentially. Or well, yeah, we're, we're talking about the East State Lions. You like the Lions. You said the Lions are going to make the playoffs before the season. Yeah, but I, don't, I didn't know they were the East State Lions. <laughs> you know why they're the East State Lions? Why, Frank? Why? Because they ain't got a D. It's true. You're not wrong. Yeah, it does make sense. You know sense. what? I like the Lions in the upset, winning outright. Wow, winning outright. That's a plus yep. 140 right there. Yep. I like the it's Lions. It's kind of scary, yeah. It's kind of scary. Really uh, we, have, we have Texans at Jags. Uh, the Jaguars are favored by a touchdown. Seven points. Yeah, the Jaguars have been impressive, but they haven't beaten the Texans since 2017. I think they win the game, but I think this is a field goal game. I think I'm going to take Texans to cover. Okay. Browns, I'm sorry, Chargers at Browns. Browns, um, so Chargers are favored by two and a half. So Chargers at Browns, Chargers favored by two and a half. What team loses all the time? They have no shot to win this game at all. The Cleveland Browns. They're a bunch of clowns. They're going to lose again. Just you wait and see. Why is everybody always picking on them? Philip Rivers, not, um, Philip Rivers. Justin Herbert found his uh, groove last week. Chargers, easy. All right, you're Miami Dolphins, my New York Jets. Like we said, the spread is three. Sounds like you like your Dolphins. Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Uh, I uh, uh, for me personally in that game, uh, that's that's tough. I think the Dolphins is the better team. I know they are. Um, three points isn't a ton, um, but I might throw a little on it. I got the Jets fever. Two and two. Let's go. Um, uh, there's no side bet between you two. Eh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling that confident. I, I'm. I'm focused on the Mets right now too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe with the second game the, when they play later in the year. Yeah. Um, they played the last season, by the way. Yeah, we'll have some fun with that one. It's probably going to mean more for you guys than my guys. Uh, here's the big spread of the year. The biggest spread of the year, Frank. Steelers at Bills. Bills favored by 14. 
Bills, Bills, Bills. You know, uh, you know what they, say? you know, uh, when a defensive player is close to getting an interception, you know what they say? What's that? Pick it. It's gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a sad day. Oh no! The Bills are gonna romp all over the Steelers so much that it's, they're gonna change the name of the team to the Pittsburgh Bolsa World. Oh man! So you like you like the Bills even with fourteen, huh? Oh yeah, I I I I, I think the Steelers are legitimately gonna lose now at lose twelve games. They they are not a good team. If TJ if TJ Watt doesn't come back anytime soon. That team has no shot. The uh, Najee Harris, Najee Harris can't run. They don't have any pass catchers. They have no deep threats, and their tight ends are better blockers than they are cat- pass catchers. All right. Their defense uh, keeps them in games, but against Buffalo, Buffalo is just going to roll all over them. The offensive player of the week, Geno Smith. And his Seattle Seahawks are going, are going to New Orleans to face the Saints. No, uh, Mikey's like camera see, is like crazy right I like the Seahawks right like to cover. Mikey, Mikey, what is going on with your camera? What's wrong with it? You have a really extreme close-up, and then we got, like, the floorboard. It's just madness. It's making crazy noises. It That's is? Better. We got the, uh, we got the sun, the, well, the, the, we got rid of the, 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 the sunbeam. The sun is fun. Dude, it's, it's, this is why I record under the bridge. This, this is, is a, a mess. This is a mess. Um, so, uh, Saints are favored by five and a half, Frank. Seahawks, Saints. Saints favored by five. Yeah, and I'm half. taking. I'm taking the Seahawks to cover. Wow. Okay. You like that, Geno Smith? Huh? You a big Geno man? I'm just not a big Saints guy right now. No, they stink. Um, Saints. T- uh, the Titans at the Commanders. Titans favored by one and a half. Hail to the commanders. Hail they do suck. Carson Wentz is horrible. Time to punt again. And that's right. You want to talk about immobile quarterbacks? I move better than Carson Wentz. I might even have a better arm than Carson Wentz. Uh, Titans all the way. Wow. I'd like to see that skills competition between you and Carson. I think that would go well. Yeah, oh, Carson, nice. Carson is brutal. He's awful. Niners at Panthers. Uh, Niners are favored by six and a half. Six and a half is a lot of points, but the Panthers, the Panthers can't do anything. That Niners defense is legit. Yeah. They're the real deal. Yeah, Panthers can't do anything. Um, Cowboys at Rams. Rams favored by five and a half. In a I, half. I like the Cowboys. I like the Cowboys. Their defense is legitimate. Uh, and with the way the Rams couldn't stop the 49ers defense, I, I'd like to see how they do against the Cowboys defense. I mean, I, I know Cooper Rush is still a quarterback, but you know what? I think, the, I think, the, I think, the, I think it's a low scoring game and I think not, the Cowboys have a chance to win it. We have the Eagles at Cardinals. Eagles favored by five. I'm caught in a trap. I can't walk out. This is classic trap game for the Eagles. Next week, the Eagles are hosting the Cowboys in a primetime game. They're playing a Cardinal team, which some weeks, if you, some weeks actually look like a team that could actually. Do something. They're an inconsistent team, but they 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 sometimes come out there and they surprise you. And they're going to be wearing black helmets, black uniforms, all black. Buckles. It's going to be a blackout in uh, blackout in Arizona. I believe I believe it's going to be a blackout. I, I saw I saw the on Twitter some cardinal uniform with a black helmet and black uniforms. I think they're wearing them this week. So I am going to take this cardinals. Are going to win it. They're going to cover it, and they're going to win it. Uh, the Cardinals win. It's a plus one ninety five. So that's a big bet. Frank likes Frank. Do you want the Mets to wear those black uniforms on Friday? I'm not too fond of them. They haven't played too well in them lately. No, I think I, I don't like black uniforms. You like black uniforms, Mikey? Not a fan. 
Unless it's the Bulls 90, 98 pinstripes. Yeah, all right. All right. That's fair. Uh, sun, Sunday night game, Frank. We might, we might be watching the Mets in game three together here when this game's going on. Cincinnati Bengals at Baltimore Ravens. Ravens are favored by three. So far at home this year, the Ravens have been really good at getting the lead. The only thing is they haven't been good at it, holding the lead. They've blown two games in the second half at home, but those were against AFC opponents, AFC East opponents. I think the uh, I think the Ravens win. Okay. Raiders at Chiefs Monday night. Crazy beeping noises. Chiefs favored by seven. Can the Raiders contain Patrick Mahomes enough to keep that game under uh, ten points? No. Chiefs. Wow. That's that's the NFL slate. Frank, red hot right now. Red hot. Red Hot, 12 we'll and 5 how I do next week. This week, I project 10 and 7. Wow. All right, so what are we doing with... Uh, is there only allowed me to... Be, uh, a little ass the tank? A little, uh, let's get a little ass the tank going. All right, I got a couple questions for you. Let's see what we got. First question for ask the tank. Mm-mm-mm-mm. When DeGrom, or no, I don't want to do that one. Would you rather keep DeGrom or go after Judge if you had to choose? If you had to choose. Oh, like free agency offseason. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a question I would rather answer in, in a week or so. Oh. Okay. Frank, what kind of meltdown are you going to have if the, like, the Mets lose? Like, uh, you know, I've seen you in the office or I've seen you in games. Like when the Mets lose, you can get, obviously, to your TikToks, you get very upset. Like if the season ends, like what? What do we? Exp- what, what what happens? There's going to be a lot of told you so's. Yeah. A lot of told you so's. Okay. And then the last one I have is uh, from Blix MCW. Who's your favorite midget wrestler? <laughs> well, I uh, I guess I could go with Blix. Go with Blix. All right, there you go. For the record. That is who asked. I know, yeah, no, 100%, yeah. So, uh, wait, he is, yeah, that's him. Nice, uh, yeah, no, major, right. major wrestler of uh, Frank's list, number one. He kind of got fucked by uh, Hulk Hogan. Oh, really? When How? Hulk Hogan got canceled, when Hulk Hogan got canceled, he was working on creating a, a TV show of uh, midget wrestlers. And I think he had, actually was holding the belt. And then when Hulk Hogan got canceled, the midget wrestlers got like thrown out the door with him. And now they're on their own and they go to different events here and there. But they actually had like a TV deal with like, uh, with, like one of those weird channels. Damn. Well, shout out. Shout out to uh, Blix. So. That's all we have for Allow Me to Be Frank. Frank, you want to take it away with uh, a song or anything? Misery, the suffering never ends. Wild card banners is all Clem loves. You know what Clem would really love? To hang the wild card banner and have a dragon, like, uh, swoop in and put it up. That would make that wild card banner even sound better. I'm surprised he isn't telling T-shirts to say wild things, because that's the, that's what he's kind of like, you know, you know that old song by Duran Duran, Wild Boys, Wild Boys. They tried to win the division, but Clem did not listen. One fucking game away from a chance to win the World Series. Now it's the fucking Padres who always kick our ass. Wild boys, Clem is happy and satisfied. Wild boys, doesn't care at all. Wild boys, rather watch those dragons on the HBO. Click like and subscribe next week. See you guys next week.
<laughs> and, and I think if Kreb was right here, I hear Drakaris. Drakaris. <laughs> Keep watching it. Give it a give it a chance. But yeah, not during the they, I hear next week it's gonna be uh there gonna be all different people, it's gonna be uh everyone's grandkids. Yeah, it might be. I, you gotta I give it a chance. Time, it's a good show. Uh, you can't you cannot character develop if you're time jumping every fucking episode. It was one episode they time jumped. Seriously. No! It's been like four episodes. One Did episode, and then the next episode was like two years later. Then the next episode was three years later. Then it was 20 years later. Then it was three years later. I mean, one episode, the baby's being born. The next episode, he's a 19 years old, and he's like uh, uh, like uh, another fucking Joffrey. Well, I guess we'll just have to keep watching. All right, see you next week. All right, see you guys. See you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>